Get in the locker room. Get in the locker room. Yo, Richie, Richie, Richie. Come on, Rich, we brought this. Get in. You know, when I first got here, if a guy would have pushed me like that or something, I would have just turned around and punched back. But, you know, I don't want to jeopardize myself with the program. You guys got to be smart man. I'm just one by three. Hey, bro, I turned up the cheek, dog. Hey, no, you're, 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 you're being smart. smart. I know, but you shouldn't have said anything, you know? Love me, bro. Just, just keep it moving, man. You just lost. You yeah. don't need to push me, man. I didn't do nothing, bro. Attack the rim early, especially early. These guys are jacked up and excited, right? Coming in here cocky and arrogant, thinking this is a win. They're going to be jacked. If we start right out of the gate, open look, and we jack it, that's easy for them. That's easy. They'll take their chances. If it goes in, that does, it bothers them, but they get the ball and they can go. If they got to guard stuff, and they got to guard drives, and you get into the rim and get a foul, that's deflating. That's deflating to any defense. Offensive rebound. Off it. Go get it. You want to stop their break? You want to discourage them? You go get it and put it in. You go get it and put it back in on them. Let's, let's see how they respond. Let's go. Fit now three. Find me on six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Five, six. A lot of people don't know how physical I can be. I don't know, maybe my frame don't look as physical or whatever, but you know, my thing is I'm not gonna let nobody punk me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. I don't really care how big somebody is or how skinny they think I am. You know what I'm saying? It's just a pride thing with me. Under that, I, I feel like you know I'm not gonna let this dude punk me or you know what I'm saying I don't want my man to score on me. So that's where the physicality comes in. At. All of last year, and you know almost any individual meeting that I ever had with Winston always had a component of a poise and keeping your emotions in check, you know, and keeping calm and, and you know focusing on the big picture, you know, and don't get caught up in that. You know, I'm the crazy one, I guess. You know, I mean, in the game, I do a lot of yelling and talking, and, you know, that's just how I play, man. I start from the top. From the minute the game started, and I was going off, I was talking. It was the heat of the game, motions running high. Like you said, it was tense, real tense in there. <laughs> You know, those guys are playing a little dirty and this and that. You know, so I feel I should say something, you know? Let's go, let's go, come here. Let's go. Let me squeeze 
call it technical circulation. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does it mean now? No letting up, right? Yep, yep, yep. That means no letting up. That means that we crush these guys. We see blood. There's no time to celebrate the score. There's no time to celebrate the score. Now they're gonna come back. We got a couple, we got a T on us, we got a foul called off the ball, right? They're gonna refs are gonna look for that and they're gonna try to bait you into that. Westwind is gonna try to bait you into that, making it personal. They're gonna try it. That's all they got. They're down, they, we've doubled them up. That's all they've got. They've got to pull out every trick in their pocket, every tool in their toolbox to throw it at you. Because you know what? They got nothing to lose. They only got 20 minutes left. It would be a shame if we peed down our leg and played right into their sap, those saps' hands. You know what they don't want to guard? A shot fake and a hard penetration. Not to say we got to shoot it out of that. If we dump it and we don't like it, we can kick it back, penetrate again. Golly, I got to guard three penetrations in the same possession. Screw that. The fourth one, you go ahead, shoot the layup. That's what'll happen. And then they, mentally, now you got it. Now, now it's completely over in the first four minutes. But that four minutes, they're going to rally the troops. obviously didn't like it and then we were beating them by 30. You know, as the game goes on, these guys are talking, they want to fight and this and that. See me after the game. See me after the game, you know, Winston, you ain't good. Box me after the game. So I'm just like, whatever. Western's a great team and, you know, I know a couple of players on that team and they're, they're good players. And after any, no matter what team, if you're a basketball, if you're a true basketball player, after a tough loss, emotions are going to run high. You know what I'm saying? So maybe the wrong words were passed throughout the game. I'm not sure exactly, but I just know after a tough loss, you know your, your head's going to be up in the clouds. You're not going to be thinking straight. So, you know, the slightest thing from a bad look to a nudge to a, uh, oh, you know, just some, some wrong intercation, um, like just speaking, the bad, some, some bad can happen. I'm walking by. I'm trying to shake hands or whatever. So one of the guys, when I go to shake his hand, he pushed me. He elbowed me. So I just turned around. Now, the, my natural instinct took over for a second. I took my jersey off or whatever, and I got a little mad. But, you know, thanks to my teammates, you know, those guys told me to watch the bigger picture, and I was able to turn the cheek and walk off. <laughs> You know, guys, guys, those guys didn't want to fight us, man. They just wanted to do a lot of talking. Like, they want to, those guys want that kind of stuff to be on YouTube. They look tough, you know. Once I see a guy like that, I don't need, it wasn't even worth it. So I just walked back in, man. I just walked in the locker room. We all got in the same room. We all got together, the whole team, and they said, what's your goals? And what, what, do, you, what do you want to get out of being at Finlay Prep? And one of the things was becoming a man. And I, I, I tweeted this not too long ago. I said, you know, Sometimes to be a man, you gotta let your pride, put your pride aside. You know what I'm saying? And instead of throwing the fist, not necessarily walking away and being like, oh, like you're scared, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to explain it, you know what I'm saying? And but the fact that I knew a couple of those players, it helped me explain, like I was able to grab one of them and, you know, talk to him. And he, as soon as he looked at me, we got that connection, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, you, sometimes you gotta put the pride aside and you gotta do what's, what's best because we all wanna make it. We all wanna be successful in whatever we're doing. So. One, one wrong fist, police is on site, your whole career is finished. Now, was it worth it for that 10 seconds? That's coming from my father's mouth, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how I was, how I was raised. You know, we, we, we talk about it with our guys because the one key word that I've always used that, that to me, from a player's standpoint, that's so important 
characteristic is poise. A sniper has a, an assignment and a mission. He goes there and he may sit in the worst conditions for six hours to get that one shot. But then he gets that shot, hits his target, and you know what he does? He doesn't jump up and down and do cartwheels. He packs up his stuff and he gets out. Nothing said, no emotion. That's what he, that was his job. You know, that's, that's what we try to convey to our guys. That's what we need to be. That's us. That's how we want it to look. That's how it needs to be. I mean, on the same note, that's a part of the game. Where I'm from, man, is, you know, while you play, you talk. You know, that's just how it is in Houston. I don't know how it is nowhere else. So that's the only thing I know. So guys, future opponents, you just you better know. I love Yates basketball because that's Houston. But you know, I actually drive it for Philly, so those are my boys too. So, you know what? We'll look at it like this. I'll be a basketball fan tonight. I got 15 people rooting for Finley and like 8,000 people rooting Yo, for Finley. Yo, look like this, man. If y'all know the hood, they're there. They're there. <laughs> they it's going to be tough on Finley tonight, man. Yeah. They get out there with a win, we better load the bus and go quick. 